Hey guys, it's Brian. Just doing a quick update this morning. Uh, trading, uh, regular trading session just got underway, and uh, I'm actually going to stop for the day, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, basically, stopping at break even, and here's here's what went on for the day. So, uh, regular trading session began, and uh, did an entry here. Let me see if I can make that bigger. Did an entry right here at the bottom of this previously closed lower high. So um, I'm sorry, uh, previously closed higher low. <laughs> uh, looking for looking for selling opportunities on the on the ES here, right? So looking for selling opportunities. We had been making higher lows, higher lows, higher lows coming into the start of the regular trading hours. Uh, regular trading hours began, uh, shot up, tested 30, 15, and then moved down, broke below this entry point here, which if I go to a one minute, I think you'll be able to see it better. Yeah, see, this is where my entry was. So this was the, well, I'm pointing, you can't see me pointing with my finger. <laughs> Moving the cursor over here. This uh, bottom of this little green candle, this was the previous uh, close right here. So as price broke down, filled the order, and then it moved on pretty rapidly and uh, moved into a point where, um, price had gone a little more than one to one uh, of my initial risk. So my initial risk was a little under a percent, percent and a half or so. Price had moved down and had, had gone a little greater than one to one risk to unrealized profit. So what I did is I moved my stop loss to break even. And uh, that generally works out because you get that early morning momentum and it just continues to push whatever direction it's going. You usually get a little a good run of momentum. Um, in this case, as you can see over here, it came back almost to the tick. <laughs> it stopped me out at break even and then continued to push on down and push on lower over here and I uh, went down to my target. My target was at 3,000 actually. So it pushed all the way down uh, and beyond uh, that target that we had there. So uh, right now, the situation is it's kind of interesting because what it does is that, that I could tell my mindset shifting because you know sometimes when that happens if you're if you're in a trade you're in the right direction you've done the right things and comes back stops you out for break even continues on without you there's that fear of missing out that takes it you know, that comes into play there's there's the greed of what did I just miss out on I just missed out on my you know four plus percent profit uh, you know and, and it, it moved to it. So then there's this whole maybe revenge trading uh, standpoint that comes into play, right? From a mindset perspective, we start thinking about all the things that we could have done or should have done or what the price might do going forward. And that can be a tipping point for, if, if you let all those emotions start creeping in, it can be a tipping point to start deviating from your plan. And uh, I, I recognize that about myself and I, I can feel it happening. Plus I've got uh, some obligations coming up here shortly. So, you know, if I, if I start getting into another trade, I might be doing it for the wrong reasons. Secondly, um, I've, I've got a, a meeting coming up here in a bit. You know, I, I mentioned that I was initially slated to speak at noon today. I gave my spot to Louis Pinto and I, I wanna make sure I go in and support Louis in, uh, in his endeavor this morning uh, as he speaks. Uh, so you've got that going on. I've got some of the videos that I'm recording as part of a, an intro series. So what I don't want to do is get myself into the situation where I let subconscious take over and start chasing the market because the market did what I expected it to do or what we hoped it would do based on the, the setup that we talked about earlier today, right? It did that, but it did it without me. So I don't want to get caught up in this, this missing out, let the emotion take over, uh, and then compound that, you know, with with poor trading based on uh, the fact that I've got to kind of fit it in in between these other other things that are happening in my life later on. So um, why am I recording this? Why am I telling you any of this? I'm telling you this because I think it's something that everyone goes through, uh, whether you want to admit it or not. You know, if you have a trade that that you entered and it went the direction you were hoping it would go, but it did it without you, and you stand there looking at the charts, there's gonna be something in your subconscious that starts, that starts creeping up that could trigger you to take trades or do things that are outside of your plan, and it's very important to be able to recognize that and just say, 
all right, you know what? I'm gonna be done here. I'm not gonna chase the market. I'm just gonna take a deep breath, do a little bit of Zen meditation, and either A, recenter yourself and, and, and come back in at a later point in the day and see what's going on there, or B, just totally step out and go, okay, I'll come back tomorrow when we've got a fresh market and a fresh perspective and everything else. So I, I feel like it's important to share because it's one of those very common mistakes that traders can make and it's typically that tipping point, that tip of an iceberg where it can trigger a whole series of events where at the end you kind of come out of this trading like zombie state wondering what just happened, right? So I'm sharing it with you because <clears throat> you know I'm recognizing, hey, it might be time to stop, it might be time to quit based on what just happened and what I'm feeling. And I hope that you can learn from that as well. So that's why I'm sharing it. So anyway, uh, long and short of this, flat for the day. So talking about the you know the account challenge that we've had where we're growing that that account. Um, you know, today I'm gonna I'm just gonna take the break even. I think we're at two dollars, right? So take the break even and just and move on and recognize that I've got emotions that are creeping up that um, are counterproductive to what needs to occur. And you couple that with other obligations I've got later on in the day, I'm just gonna call it, <clears throat> come back in tomorrow, see what, what trade opportunities exist, and we'll go from there. Um, as, as we get later into the week, I'm not expecting a whole lot, um, simply because as I mentioned this morning, we've got a, a short week, we've got a holiday weekend, so Friday is, is you know, a closed market. Uh, we've got you know, big news tomorrow with Mr. Powell speaking. We've got news on Thursday with the, or on Wednesday with the ADP report, which is the precursor to non-farm payroll. Then we've got you know, Thursday, which would typically be Friday's report coming out on Thursday for non-farm payroll. And a lot of times, you know, I don't have enough data yet to know, but a lot of times coming into this week, uh, you have a lot of the big players that step out, so the, the volume could be lighter as well. So all of those things kind of coming to head uh, could create a, a fairly interesting market with you know potentially uh, some, some chop or even potentially big swings that are outside of what expectation might be. So uh, it, it's really, really important to stick to the plan, have that mental fortitude to stick to the plan. And if you feel yourself, you know, wanting to deviate from it, you know, make sure you, <laughs> what was that song? Check yourself before you wreck yourself, right? So that, that applies very much to trading. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.